This week, I'm spilling all the tea on the University of North Carolina. How's it going? My name is Ashton Herndon, and boy, do I have a bone to pick with colleges right now. So obviously, if you guys have seen any of my other videos before, then you know that I've definitely got some beef with UNC for not letting me in. But recently, there's just been something else about that school that's been really bothering me. Over the past two years, I've been able to make a pretty solid life for myself at Florida State, and even though I have no regrets about where I ended up going to college, I still wanted to see just how nice it would have been if the whole UNC thing ended up working out. I mean, I would see all my friends living it up and having the time of their lives. And from the beautiful campus to the amazing school culture, UNC really seemed like the place to be. So I would pack my bags and drive the 10 hour road trip to live out that perfect college experience. And at first, coming to Chapel Hill was definitely worth the drive. I mean, everyone I had ever talked to said that they absolutely loved it up here. And I had no doubt in my mind that my life would be a movie just like everyone else. But after the first few days of living out this dream college life, the reality of UNC started to hit me like a truck. I realized that the whole environment up here started to seem a lot different than people made it out to be. And this classic college experience started to fade away real fast. From the overwhelming school culture, to the insanely hard classes, no parking, crazy smart people, and a lifestyle far from the one I heard so much about, I felt like it was impossible to find my place here. And after seeing just how easy it was for everyone else to fit in, I wanted to be anywhere but UNC. And that's why I'm here today. I know that there's a lot of pressure out there to make your college experience as perfect as you can. And at times, it seems like picking that right fit is almost impossible. But lucky enough for you, I've got some dirt on this place that most people never even dare to talk about. So today we're letting all the secrets loose. So today we're going out and asking a bunch of different students across a ton of different backgrounds what their biggest regrets are about UNC and whether or not this place is actually worth coming here in the first place. From diehard Tar Heel fans to UNC's biggest haters to everything in between, no stones being left unturned today, baby. Woo! I'm excited for today, baby. I mean, we got the Florida State boys back in Chapel Hill spilling all the tea on UNC. I mean, you can't get much better than this. All right, another day of work, my man. You ready? Ah, positive as always. Love to see it. All right, let's spill some tea, baby. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Do you guys mind if I ask you a couple questions for a YouTube video? Yeah, of course. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Most definitely. Awesome, let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think so. I am. Ready. I am ready. You nervous? I mean, should I be? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. A little. A little? <laughs> it's okay, we got this, we got this. I have a little trick and I do it at every school and it works every time, I promise. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got it already. We're gonna take a deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. You feel any better? I feel about the same. <laughs> <laughs> so first question, what is your name? What is your major? And how many years have you been at UNC? My name is Christian Chung. Nadine Atia. Sarah Edipadishai. Olivia Dagenhart. Sophie Mallinson. I am a journalism major here. I'm a neuroscience and philosophy major. Psych and EXS double major. Political science and philosophy double major. Business analytics major. Economics major. Religious studies major. I'm a computer science and information science major. And I'm a senior, so it's my fourth year here. This is my fourth year. Fourth year. Fourth year. Third year. Third year. Second year. Year. I've been at UNC for four years. Three years. Three years. Four months. I have been here for four years. All right, a senior. Love to hear it. Graduate in two weeks. Wow. Good for you. Thanks. Congratulations. And was UNC your first choice of a college? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was not. <laughs> it was not. It was actually not. It was not. It was not. UNC was the last choice because I didn't even know it existed. I was like, you know what, let me just apply to a university that has the North Carolina name. And then I got here, I was like, okay, cool, I'll just go here. I didn't really have a first choice, but when I was like choosing colleges during COVID, it seemed like the best choice because it was away from home, but not too far. It's a good balance for like being close to home from where I was prior and then just like financially also very viable. I'm from the state and I really wanted to study outside of state but that's really expensive. <laughs> it was not, but only because it was like a long shot. Like it was kind of my dream school, but I didn't really know if I was gonna get in. But like when I got in, it was like, yeah, definitely my first choice. It was actually, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah, so um, I'm actually here on study abroad. So I had to choose between UNC and some other schools from other countries. So UNC was my first choice because I really wanted to come to America. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Very well said, sweet. So obviously there's a lot of different people out there with a ton of mixed opinions about UNC. 
And even though for some people it was their dream school and for others it was their very last choice, at the end of the day, there's still a lot of uncertainty on what to expect once you actually get here. So I decided to put this idea to the test. So getting a little deeper here, before you actually came to UNC, what was your biggest fear about coming here? Uh, I guess just fitting in socially wise. Not being able to like meet people. That I wouldn't make new friends. Making new friends and fitting in, I guess. Just the fact that I didn't know anybody coming here. When you come to college, you're gonna have to relearn how to make friends a lot of the time. And so that was definitely kind of a concern. I was worried I wouldn't be able to like find my own way and kind of like be in the shadow of my brothers because I did have two other siblings who came to UNC and then my twin brother also came here. I guess not knowing what to do in terms of like my major and what to do with my life. I didn't really have any fears. I was kind of chill. I knew a lot of people coming. All right, fearless. <laughs> Love to hear it. So does that fear hold to be true? It was okay. I don't think it was like it was really true. I adjusted pretty quickly, so I didn't really feel that fear. It did, I think, for the first year. But I think after that, no. I think during my first year, it was a little true just because because we couldn't really interact with many people. But after our first year, it's been amazing since. It definitely took a little bit of time, but I got there. Overall, it's kind of fun to like enter somewhere that you've never been. Oh, that's so wholesome. I love that. So building off of that, once you actually got to UNC, what was one thing about the school that took you completely off guard? I don't know if it took me off guard, but just like how smart everybody is here. Maybe like the difficulty of the classes. I sort of thought since it was a state school, it might be like a little bit easier than I thought. I used to be a STEM major and taking Chem 101 during the pandemic online was like oh no baby we got to switch that shit immediately okay <laughs> there are definitely some classes that you have to work really hard for to get good grades in but um there's also some that are super easy and also some people who don't do anything i guess the diversity how welcoming the community was overall there are so many different communities here there's like a niche for everything just the size of the school i'm normally used to living in a city so i think having this campus where the life feels a bit slower and more relaxed it was really quite nice how small it actually really is it's very small it's a big school big campus but like you see like the same people every day you see the same people very often and it's pretty comforting like i kind of walk around campus and it's like oh i never know who these people are but there's always the same like six that i see and i'm like oh you I remember you, you know? <laughs> so, you know, for the most part, all this uncertainty about UNC turned out to be a lot less intimidating than people made it out to be. And at times, all these fears turned out to be a lot more wholesome and friendly once people actually started to go here. But even though a lot of these students have started to find their way here, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're completely happy with their decision. So I decided to dig deep and see how these people really feel about this place. And now's the question that everyone's been waiting for. What is your biggest regret about coming to UNC? Biggest regret? Uh, that's a great question. Damn, that's a hard one. I'm trying to think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest regret is not joining more clubs and student groups earlier. Not initially being myself. Maybe I could have like pushed myself a little harder, but it was also COVID and I wasn't trying to like die. Honestly, I can't really think about any regrets. I feel pretty good here. I don't think I have a regret about coming to UNC. I don't think I have any regrets about coming here. Is that an okay answer? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Nah, I got no regrets. <laughs> no regrets, <laughs> awesome. I think I compromised a little bit on wanting a school that had a dance program, to be honest. <laughs> In terms of specifically like for my major, I think the facilities and everything just aren't the best. Some of the classrooms, the outside of the buildings look good, but the inside is really old. And I feel like some of the buildings were not renovated for a long time. So. UNC may not like be the strongest school with engineering. I think if I had known before, I would have gone to NC State for a better curriculum. The lack of resources and stuff for engineers kind of is not the best for me, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I mean, for the most part, a lot of these answers turn out to be way more lighthearted than I thought they'd be. And even though everyone seems like they have this place figured out, you know I had to get a little more dirt to see how these people really feel. So as always, I threw in a few curveballs at the end to show UNC's true colors. Now I got a couple rapid fire questions for you. Okay. You ready? Let's do it. You sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. So first question, what is the biggest stereotype about UNC? That it's all the kids that didn't get into Duke. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> that we're worse than Duke, which is wrong. That we hate Duke, but it's kind of true stereotype. I don't hate them, but most <laughs> of the people do. It's just a basketball school, and that's really all there is to it. It's like a white school. <laughs> PWI. 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 Liberal. That kind of vibe. It's full of snobby, rich white kids. That it's like elitist or like competitive. Probably like 
date school? That's not really a stereotype. Oh, basketball. Basketball. Fuck, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> what is one place in Chapel Hill that every student should absolutely avoid? Eighth floor of Davis. High Life Smoke Shop. Mall. The Phillips Hall. Phillips. The alleyways near Franklin at night specifically. I mean, like, in, to complete honesty, specific frat houses. Frat court. Frat court. I would say frats. I went once and never went back. It was a bad time. Lenore, the bottom of the dining hall at lunchtime. Low key, the old well. Like, I think it's really cute for pictures, like, occasionally. But please never drink out of that. One of the toilets in, in Davis Library. <laughs> <laughs> what is your least favorite thing about UNC? I think I really don't like how unnecessarily hard the intro classes are. The classes, goddamn, I hate going to class sometimes. <laughs> I wish they had better food options on campus. The food at Lenore is normally really good, but sometimes it's not that good. How big it is and how, like, hilly. I think there's a major disconnect between the student body and the administration. Sometimes student voices don't always feel like they are being heard. I would say their lack of maintenance and also their poor budgeting. The crosswalks are really helpful, right? But when you're driving on campus and you have to stop every 30 seconds at a crosswalk, Nah. What's your favorite thing about UNC? I would say my favorite thing is just the people. The people. The people, probably. Also the people. All the different people you'll meet. The people that I've met, definitely. I think everyone here is very friendly and very nice. Again, like I said earlier, there's a community for everybody here. You can always learn something from somebody, and that's what I appreciate. Not just the people here, the folks, the environment. Like Just like right now, we're sitting on the quad. The weather is just... It's a nice place physically to look at. I feel like the environment in general, and also how many study places we have. Maybe the outdoor space is like this. I would say the camp Campus, like specifically the spot that we're sitting in right now like it's really nice on a nice sunny spring day and gives you a lot of opportunities to be outside oh yeah absolutely and i have one final question if you were to give one piece of advice to all the incoming freshmen out there that are coming to unc next year what would it be have a pretty good life fun balance. Don't spend too much time in the library. You will regret it. Don't push yourself to like insanity. Please do not sacrifice your sleep for classes. Do not be pulling all-nighters. Just enjoy it, I guess. Don't forget to like not stress about school, not worry about the finals, live in the moment and just do your thing. Enjoy it. Don't be scared. You know, make friends, put yourself out there. If you see an opportunity, take it. Make friends with people in your class. And if you don't know how to do that, just like look at them and be like, do you want to be friends? And then they'll usually say yes. I've done it to a lot of people and now I'm really popular and cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you want to do well. Yes, you want to excel. But also you want to make friends. You want to have a good time and experience college the way a student should. Have a little fun. Do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow. UNC admissions. You need to hire this girl right here. That was amazing. I actually, I used to be a tour guide. I'm not even gonna lie. Look at that, that's perfect. <laughs> so as you can probably tell from all the answers we got, not a single person out there started off with a perfect college experience. And even after being here as long as they have, all these students still face challenges finding their way just like you and I. And this is the biggest lesson I can give you guys. Life is never gonna go the way you expect it to. And whether it's college decisions, career paths, or simply what you wanna eat for dinner tonight, life is gonna be filled with uncertainty. But even if the place you end up isn't what you dreamed it out to be, there's still a million different ways out there to make it way better than you could have ever imagined. I mean, at the end of the day, you might have a little more fun at Florida State. But you know what? We'll save that for another time. So with that being said, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do respond to every single comment. So if you have any other questions or video ideas, make sure to leave them down below. I do have a playlist of everything you need to know about college. So if you want to go check it out, it'll be right here. And if you want to join the family of over 8.1 thousand subscribers now, you can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. And I will see you guys next week.